two people are dead and one person is in the hospital following a crash. Roosevelt Boulevard near FSCJ's Kent campus has been closed in both directions throughout the morning. News for Jack's reporter Maggie Lorenz is at the scene. You can see from the cars behind me that the lanes have reopened. Traffic on Roosevelt Boulevard has been flowing smoothly for about an hour, but yes, all lanes were shut down for multiple hours this morning. I want to go ahead and show you this video that my photographer and myself got when we arrived here around 6 o'clock this morning. You can see in the video that two cars were involved in this crash, a white SUV with bad damage to its front end and a dark colored sedan that is missing just its entire top section of the car. Debris, it was scattered all over the roadway, tires, other car parts, and it took crews a while to get the dark car loaded onto the tow truck just because of how much debris was in the street. Police tell us that this crash had happened just before 2.30 early this morning, and according to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, officers found one person dead here at the scene and then two people seriously injured. Those two people, they were rushed to a nearby hospital where sadly police say one of them did pass away in the hospital and that other person remains in critical condition. So we know that three people were involved in this in this crash from JSO and they were out here for hours this morning. So again, if that crash happened around 2.30, they left around 6 o'clock. That's three and a half hours that were, police were out here just cleaning up the scene. But if you are planning to travel in this area of Roosevelt Boulevard, it is reopened, so you shouldn't run into any problems this morning. We're live this morning. I'm Maggie Lorenz, Channel 4, the local station.